I've never skipped this type of puzzle before, guys. I've always done these puzzles, this puzzle type. <laughs> They've been pretty easy, too. This is the first time that I need to skip the puzzle. All right, you know what? I have enough. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Wasted all that time. Just wait. Hold on. Did I skip the puzzle already? No, <laughs> it's still here. Oh my god, I got this to the second half already, guys. <laughs> but it still looks pretty impossible here on this side, though. I do need a coin, another coin here. Move a green coin to this spot. We need to do that. Oh, I forget it. What a waste of time. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Wow, it's a portal. I have a feeling that many peculiar things await me on this journey. Might this be the druid? I need to show him the medallion. I see, I see your settlement medallion, young man. What do you want from me? Fix a bad potato crop? Help a newborn? I don't deal with petty rural problems. My name is Edril. I am from the Beatitsa settlement. We are suffering from an unknown disease. Our medicines have no effect, and people are dying rapidly. It's as if life itself abandons them. Exactly. Do you know what's happening? I am Svarog the druid of this forest, and I am familiar with this story from ancient legends. Your quest to find a cure will require hard work and diligence. I want to save the people of my settlement. What should I do? You must travel to my ancestor's cave and find the satyr's chronicle. The cave is high in the mountains across the river. I will open a portal for you in the forest. Take a ritual knife from my house. 
It will come in handy. New towns enter the cave of the Setters. Lure the bird to the feeder and take the detail of our mates. With bird feet. That's an unusual looking greenhouse, guys. It, it looks like a yellow house now. <laughs> With all the yellow panels. It's a yellow house. Need a name change. Okay, got a tambourine. It's like a puzzle dial. Maybe it is a puzzle dial. Right in the middle. <laughs> Looks like that will fit right in onto the box, guys. A bloody handprint. <laughs> those, those words are not important. <laughs> Cannot read the letter, guys. A snake? There's a snake! On the chest. Collection of beetles. <laughs> Maybe those are extra large bed bugs. <laughs> they are on the bed. And they are huge. Grappling hook. Fish, collar, bird skull. We do need to find these items in order, guys. The ones that are on the list. Spruce, dragonfly. Sneaky. Rolling pin. Grappling hook. Any more patterns here on the rock? There's nothing over here, right? Oh, the tree outside! <laughs> I wasn't looking out the window, guys. Fish and snake. Snake is going to be the chest here. Right. And the fish. Right there! How about the bookshelf? I have a knife. Now I can go to the clearing. The druid should be waiting for me there. Let's go.
Chestito. Alright, hopefully this will be a very easy puzzle. <laughs> Unlike the previous ones. Uh, toggle the blue tabs and rotate the wood in this section to remove the metal element from the bottom. Uh, toggle the blue tabs. Okay, rotating these tabs to let us move these dials around. How far do we need to move these dials, guys? Remove the element from the bottom. So as long as we moved it a bit, then we'll be we'll be all right. Oh, oh, that's good enough. We're moving it up to down. Statuettes. The greenhouse key. The yellow house key. It's a ripe gralang. I've only what? seen them in books. <laughs> ripe gralang? You mean the fruit here? The exotic looking fruit? A gralang. Looks a little bit like a dragon fruit. In shape. Nice, a little bit. <laughs> and the color is not that far off either. Spray a bottle. I wonder if this goes here or not. <laughs> the Gualang. Anything else inside the greenhouse? Only the lab table. Hey, the map. The traveling map. Oh, portal is open. Good luck. Be respectful to the legacy of my ancestors. Thank you. I will be respectful. I'll try not to disturb the people living there. The path leading into the mountains should take me to the cave. Satyrs were known as the friendliest folk. They party with people all day and night long. The first taught them to dance on the holidays eve. The second unraveled how to knit and weave. The third made dishes from clay and showed how to use it. The fourth showed them all kinds of tools to make music. And the fifth taught them to grow mighty trees and flowers. But then witches sold enmity with their powers. It was the end of the friendship between Satyrs and people. And they fled to the dark caves for fear they were no longer equals. So they are afraid of the humans, guys. There is a, a glowing seed. The second one. They do look very magical. Alright, oh, next puzzle here. Jusuni, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? We saw the image by rotating picture parts using temporary arrows. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> I was wondering what's going on here, guys. So... There... We're connecting the two different wheels. And the face... The beard...
All right, that looks that looks complete. Yeah, the inner way away. Now the outer way away. Token there. A token is stuck between the crystal and the rock. It looks like Onyx. <laughs> Onyx purple, guys. So, four tokens. I wonder where. I need to use my mana. What is behind this door? How do I open it? Find that token, of course. The flower token. This should be the right cave, but how can I cross the river? We can swim! <laughs> we can swim across! Easy, guys. These carnivorous fish love the rare greenhouse-grown fruit called the grelang. Oh, really, guys? It's more like dessert to them now. <laughs> the main cause? Definitely, they will need meat. Animal meat, human meat. And for dessert? Fruit. <laughs> to cleanse their palate, guys, and to get them ready for the next meal. There must be some way to get uh, to the other side. Uh, well... Since we are allergic to water, then, <laughs> that is going to be a problem, guys. Then perhaps we can swing across. Like Tarzan. A spear. Mountains, which forest? I'm missing something, is that it? The spear. Use a spear there. Wow. The any of you actually see that token? How about the tent? <laughs> yeah, they made it so visually distinguished. Alright, time for another puzzle over here. Swap chips to fill the circle with chips of the corresponding color. Alright. This is uh, doable, guys. For sure. Whoa, whoa. How does he swap again? <laughs> we are swapping like this? Oh my god, this is a little bit different, guys. <laughs> we does not fully move the wheels. Oh, this is odd. <laughs> wow, I wasn't expecting this at all. 
guys. <laughs> this is so different. <laughs> Ooh. All right, I'm not liking this. Oh my god. They turn a perfectly playable puzzle into a nightmare, guys. <laughs> what the heck is this? Let's get some of those green ones over there. Alright, here's our chance. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh, that wasn't my intention, guys. Okay. Okay, um, I do need to, the key is to put all the green ones and the red ones outside of the main track, guys. That's the key to the puzzle. Because we don't want them to rotate out of their mini circles. And it is possible because the number of the color tokens are just shy of uh, the total numbers, minus two. So let's just keep... I, I need the configuration here, is uh, the blue token is two away from the other one, inside the same mini circle. We don't want to... 
Like, yeah, like that, guys. Two away. From the next color, like that. So that will be out of the main, the main wheel now. So let's focus on the green one, guys. I think we're getting close. Yeah, like that. So exchange this one with that one. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I need to get this in the right configuration too. Two away. Okay. We got two away now. So let's just rotate that into place. One more time. Oh. That puzzle is already hard enough without... The original puzzle type is already hard enough without uh, this swapping mechanism, guys. And somehow they made it even more difficult. <laughs> Unbelievable. The cliff is too steep to jump up. Lavender, welcome to the stream. This place reminds you of Lost Lands. Yes, it does. It does it. Yes, it is 5 BN games. So it's the same graphical style. But so far, the game has been pretty slow. <laughs> Thanks to all the difficult puzzles, guys. I don't remember finding games being this slow before, but so far, it is pretty slow. This is the cave I need. How can I get to the other side? Well, again, <laughs> this problem keeps showing up, huh? A gap. Doesn't it doesn't really matter if there is an empty gap or a water gap, <laughs> but a gap. <laughs> yes. The main problem of the game here, guys. <laughs> well, the main problem that we're trying to solve, I'm not saying that this is negative. Just something that we need to. Oh, 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 connecting. Do we have a clue for this? Someone has cast a spell on the rock. We need a clue. This will make a great rage. Missing those traveling and you are right. Yes. Usually Vi BN games have a lot of traveling cutscenes. A lot of cutscenes. <laughs> Moving around. On the map. Yeah, this game is missing something, guys. From the usual 5 BN games. It is missing something. Something valuable inside the box. Is it missing anything, guys, on the body? Shoulder pads. Auto lamp. Click the side of figurine in the correct order. Uh, based on their height. That can be right, guys. I don't see anything in common here, guys. What they are doing. A musician. We got a florist. We got someone doing uh, pottery. And then some bending here in the middle. Then whatever this guy is doing on the right. <laughs> is he fishing, guys? Is he holding fishes, guys? I don't see anything in common here. How do we put them in the correct order? Huh. Oh, we 
we'll come back to that. You want me to do this puzzle here? How? They have nothing in common! <laughs> Put them in order, what order, guys? There's no order here. And there's no visual cue telling us if we are pushing a correct figurine or not. This is not random, guys. There is an order here that we don't know about. 